Good morning, everyone. Let's continue our quarter to lesson 14 entitled Illustrating the Equivalences of the Statement and its Contrapositive and the Converse and Inverse of a Statement. This will be a long lesson if I will do it one by one, but let me just give you a clear picture, just an example, okay? The statements, if-then statements, have its equivalences based on its truth values. Let me give you one example. Example, let me read. If you win the game, then you will get the prize. If you win the game comma, then you'll get the price. Okay? The underlined part is what you know already, the P or the hypothesis. And the second part, the next underlined part, second is uh, represented by the letter Q or your conclusion. P, hypothesis, Q, conclusion. Okay. Let me give you this table. We have... One, two, three, four, five columns and five rows. The given is called, if you win the game, then you'll get the price. It's called an if-then statement or a conditional statement. Okay? This is a conditional statement. And to prove the truth values for a conditional statement, you have these sets of format. This is already given. So the first format must be PQ. We will give that. Um, then P not Q, then not P Q, not P not Q. So we have four formats. In every if-then statements like inverse, converse, contrapositive, they have a set of formats. So ang example ko ni sa inyo is just our if-then statement. If P then Q or conditional statement lang. Hindi na ko mag-deal sa iban. Kay para lang may example ka mo. Okay, so the first one, we will copy the format PQ, sundun ko. So, ano ang P ko? Without the word if, ha, huh? and the then, P lang, sundun ko mo P. So, you win the game, okay? Correct? Then, you compare this to the original given, ngagin butang ko sa babo, ngagin underline ko P. You win the game. Based on the format P, compare ko siya sa babaw, nga ginhatag, given. So, pariha sila, right? You win the game, and then the given also, you win the game. So, for the hypothesis, that is true, because they are the same. According to our implication, you win the game, and based on our given, you win the game also. So, our hypothesis will have a truth value of true, or T stands for true. Next, let's copy. After P, it's Q. What's our Q? Copy. You will get the prize. Okay? You'll get the prize. Then compare this answer to your original given. They are the same, right? You'll get the prize. Then, so implication, you'll get the prize. So, for conclusion, we also have true as our truth value because they are the same. Okay, next. In the second format, P, not Q. So, let's copy our P. You win the game. It's still you win the game. Okay? This answer, you win the game, will be compared to your original given. They are still the same. You win the game. So, our hypothesis will have a truth value of T because they are the same. Next format is not Q. So, I will negate the given Q. It should be not Q. So, dugangan tanin nato. That means, or your implication will become, you will not get the prize. See? Gin follow ko ang format ha. Gin negate ko ang, imbes nga you will get the prize, gin butangan ko not, kaya ang balsang format may not mo. So, you will not get the prize. So, compare this implication to the given. You will not get the prize, pero sa example, mga ginhata ko, you will get the prize. So, we'll have a false conclusion for the truth value. F. Because they're not the same. Sa implication ta, you will not get the price. Pero sa given, you will get the price. They are different. Okay? So, it's false. Next, third format. Not P, Q. Not P, anay. So, in negate kong P, dio. So, in business, you win the game, the implications answer will be, 
you will not, oh, you did not, sorry, you did not win the game. Klas ni butangan did, okay lang na, as long as my not, joke not, joke lang. You did not win the game. So, I will compare this, you did not win the game to the original given. And they're not the same, they're different. So, the hypothesis will become false. Okay, next. Q. Oh, I'll just copy my Q. You will get the prize. Compare this implication to the given. You'll get the prize. They're the same. So, our truth value for conclusion is true. Okay. And the last format. Not P, not Q. I will negate the given P. Not P. So, the answer will become you we did not win the game. Kay negation mo. So, compare you did not win the game to the given if you win the game. They're not the same, right? They're different. So, the hypothesis will become false. Kay kung pareho sila, then it's true. But if they're not the same, they're different. So, false. Alas, not Q. According to our format, not Q. So, I will negate this Q. You will not get the prize. And so, comparing them, this is positive, this is negative, negation. The answer for conclusion is false. Okay, now let's make a decision. Remember, I've given you truth values. But if you get true and true, the answer will become also true. So the decision becomes true. But if you will have a true hypothesis, yet ang conclusion false, the answer is false. Ginhata ko nisa nagligat sa inyong truth table. So just uh, go back to that copy. Next, if your hypothesis is false but your conclusion is true, the decision is still true. Okay, and the last, even if you have false hypothesis, conclusion mo false man, decision is still true. Now, this T, F, T, T is the final decision for the given nga conditional statement. Ang inverse may ara mana siya. Ang converse, may ara, mana siya. Ang contrapositive, may ara, mana siya. So, hindi ko na pag isa isa hon. Ginto dlo, anta lang kamo kung paano. Kamo ni kakwa, truth, true or false na dio. Liwaton ko ha. First, follow the format. You write it in the implication. Compare your implication to your given. And then decide sa hypothesis kag sa conclusion. If they are the same, implication mo kag sa imo given, it's true. But if imo implication kag sa given is wrong, then it's false. And then you make a decision sa hypothesis kag conclusion, compare mo sila. Okay, again, this final decision, true, false, true, true, is only for the if then if p then q statement okay ang inverse ang converse ang contrapositive la in man ari na class ko gin summarize ko ang ilang nga mga results there this is the table which shows the summary of the decisions of the if then statement so original if p then q statement the decision is tftt which is the same right Sa converse, tanan na siya, whatever it is. Basta converse ang given mo. Statement, di ba lao sa babaw? Converse, di kayo di niya. If P, then Q ni mo. Pero kung converse gani, tanan na decision, T, T, F, T mo na siya. Sa inverse naman niya, it's T, T, F, T also. At sa contrapositive, sa decision niya is T, F, T, T. If you compare, ang if then statement mo, T, F, T, T, is the same with the contrapositive. So, meaning, tanan nga, if P then Q statement, or conditional statement, always equivalent sa contrapositive. May mamangkot be What are the equivalent statements? The answer will be, this, conditional and contrapositive. They are equivalent. Because their decisions are the same. T, F, T, T. Also, if you can notice, converse and inverse are also the same. They have the same decision for the truth tables. So, the equivalent statements are if P then Q or conditional statements and contrapositive statements and converse and inverse. Again, ang converse kag inverse equivalent statements. Ang conditional and contrapositive statements are also equivalent. Okay, thank you very much for listening. I just want you to answer one of this. I prepared a table for you. Just comply. 
Ansaran lang. The given is this. If you study, then you'll get good grades. Identify your P, your Q. Oh, ako na naghatag sa inyo sang hypothesis and conclusion. Just fill in the tables, just like what I gave. Thank you very much for listening.